Christian Kanstrup is the CEO of a company called uh, Evaction. Evaction, I think I'm saying it right. Stock symbol EVAX, as I mentioned earlier in the program today. Uh, they are a critical stage tech bio company based upon the, get this, AI immunology platform. Um, and of course, one of our favorite things we do in the program here is when we get uh, uh, people that are shareholders of the company or familiar with the company, uh, contacting Greg and saying, hey, you gotta get these guys on the air because of course we get to interview everybody from, uh, from customer service experts to authors to actors to singers to uh, musical theater people coming up apparently <laughs> uh, to CEOs of public company. And I give you uh, Christian Cancer. Christian, great to have you. Long day. Welcome, uh, welcome. And uh, sorry we couldn't get your chief scientific officer, uh, Brigitte Renee, but we don't have, apparently we don't have any uh, audio from her. But good to have you along, sir. How are you? I am good. How are you? And thank you so much for having me on. I've been looking very much forward to, uh, to this. So it's a pleasure to be here. Hey, listen, I've got a question. Can you talk to us? I mean, we interview a fair amount of companies, um, both public and private, some of the biopharma, biotech. But when you talk about AI and you talk about immunology, this is something that is tip of the spear. Can you give us an overview and talk about what exactly you're covering there? Well, I mean, uh, what we exactly cover is actually what we set out to do uh, 2008 when the company was formed. Um, the two co-founders, they decided we are going to use AI to decode the human immune system with the objective of uh, developing uh, new medicines. So uh, in, in principle, what we are covering, we are covering the whole process from the discovery of uh, novel vaccine targets towards the design of the vaccine into the, the development of uh, novel vaccines. So you can say, in, in essence, our AI immunology platform is a, uh, I would say, sophisticated AI machine learning platform set out with the objective of decoding the human immune system to be able to develop novel medicines. Give us a history of this company, because obviously it couldn't have started in the AI direction, because AI is sort of new to all of us. We'll talk about the history. Yeah, well, uh, as I said, I mean, it's quite interesting because the company was founded back in, in 2008 with the objective of using uh, technology. Uh, it was not called AI at that point in time, but using computer-based um, uh, models to develop novel medicines. And I think it's fair to say at that point in time, I mean, uh, everybody were looking at the two uh, co-founders smiling a little bit uh, and uh, thinking that's not really possible. Then you can say, of course, fast forward to today. The world is completely different now. Um, uh, everybody is talking about uh, using AI for uh, drug development. And that's where our advantage is that we have had a 15 year head start with the objective of, of developing this AI immunology platform. And we have been constantly refining and developing uh, that platform over the past many years. Christian Kanstrup is the CEO of the Vaxian, the uh, ticker symbol EVAX. Christian, can you talk to us about the lead vaccine candidate, EVX01? Right now, I, I believe it's in uh, stage two development. Yeah, I'll be happy to, uh, and that's exactly correct. Uh, EVX01 is our lead candidate, which is a personalized uh, cancer vaccine targeting metastatic melanoma. Yep. And, and uh, here you have uh, the, the AI immunology platform which for each individual patient based upon a tumor biopsy and the resulting DNA sequence is designing the targets that needs to go into that vaccine with the objective of exactly developing a vaccine that is perfectly tailored for that individual patient. And uh, of course, by having a individualized and personalized approach, uh, we are hoping to uh, create uh, efficacious vaccines for that individual patient. Wow. Hey, Christian, I have to, I have to say, as we're looking at the, the, the FDA sort of arc of the story there, you're getting close. Talk about uh, where we are all the way through, because it seems like you're at the door here for, uh, for either, a, uh, either a risk averse solution where uh, somebody else takes over and takes it to the goal line, or you guys take it to the, to the, uh, to the community itself. But talk about that a little bit about FDA. No, I mean, uh, I, I think it's clear when we look at uh, not only FDA, but the regulatory authorities uh, across, uh, across the world, there's an openness towards uh, the concept of personalized medicine, right? And, and if you look at EVX01, we actually have fast track designation from uh, the FDA, uh, hence uh, additional support in, in the whole regulatory uh, pathway. So you can say where, where one could be concerned about uh, this being a novel and uh, 
a completely new treatment paradigm, then I think the regulatory authorities are definitely um, uh, uh, supportive of bringing these type of, of personalized medicines to the market. So uh, clearly uh, something which is exciting, not only from our point of view, but even more so from a patient point of view, of course, uh, being able to bring these tailored uh, personalized medicines to the market. Uh, Christian, could you explain to me a little bit the, the personalization of it? And is it something that, um, like let's say in my family, melanoma is a thing and people have told me for years, I am a key factor, or, you know, absolutely. That's because you're clear colored. You, have no, clear, I you know. have no melanoma. <laughs> so, you know, tell me, is it something that like someone like me that has it in my history of my family and I've been sunburned my whole life, something that I would want to get to prevent metastatic melanoma down the line? No, you can say this is this is not a preventive vaccine. This is a therapeutic vaccine, i.e. it's a vaccine you will be getting um, when you have been diagnosed with, with melanoma. Uh, it's, it's then um, based upon a um, biopsy for, from the tumor. Um, we will be running the DNA sequencing of that and feeding that into our AI immunology model which then again will design the personalized vaccine for that patient. So I, I think it's important, even though we're talking about vaccines, it, it's, it's not preventive vaccines like you see for, for COVID vaccines, for instance. These are therapeutic vaccines, which will be used to boost the immune system to fight the cancer once you have been diagnosed with, with a given cancer. Got it. So, so my question for you would be the addressable market for metastatic melanoma. Um, this is something that we've heard about melanoma for many, many years, but now we're talking about metastatic melanoma. And we're talking about how serious it is because, because at some point we, we thought it was as simply as applying sunscreen and staying outside, but it's getting much worse uh, due to many things, including environmental problems. Talk about the addressable market here. Yeah, no, I mean, we, if, if we look at the metastatic melanoma market alone, that's uh, going to be around, uh, say, seven and a half billion by uh, end of this decade. Uh, and of course, w w when we're talking about immunotherapy, Broader, here we are talking about a market which is uh, close to uh, 300 billion by the end of the decade. So unfortunately, you can say cancer, despite all the advancements that we have seen in, in, in treatment of cancer, remains a huge challenge. And uh, I mean, we are seeing 10 million deaths a year due to cancer, which is, of course, way too much. And, and hence also why I'm super proud that we are developing a completely novel approach to, to help improve survival rates of cancer. Hey, Christian, I've got to ask, uh, and I know you can only be so specific uh, being a CEO of a public company as to what you can tell us, but talk about the next 12 months. What are you looking forward to most for the rest of 2024 going into 2025 as we get to the first half of the yeah. year? No, I mean, the next 12 months are going to be uh, super exciting. I think the, we, we are at an exciting point in time in, in the vaccine journey. And uh, first of all, I mean, now we talked about EVX01 in, in phase two. Here we will have the one year readout of that phase two in the third quarter of, uh, of this year. And, and the data we have seen so far looks uh, uh, really promising. We just presented some data at ASCO early, early June. And hence, of course, uh, looking very much forward to seeing the, the clinical efficacy data in, uh, in the third quarter of, of this year. Then um, we have a uh, collaboration with, with Merck on, on uh, designing and or discovering, designing a novel vaccine within infectious diseases. That first phase is going to conclude in, in the second half, uh, and uh, then we are going to bring that uh, into the next phase. Also super excited about that. Um, uh, just like we not only are working on the personalized vaccine concepts, we are also developing a, a quite novel precision vaccine concept where we, based upon a novel source of targets, are developing a, what we hope to be highly efficacious precision-based vaccine. So I think a lot to be excited about, not only for, for us as a company, but definitely also for the patients that we're here to help improve their lives every day. Well, listen, I, I, I would like to have you back as early as next week, because I'd also love to talk to Brigitte Renault. Uh, your chief scientific officer as well, if you guys are willing to come back. We have to, I want to talk about more about this because you're talking about an addressable market the size of three and a half United States population. Unbelievable. Uh, his name, Christian Canstrup. The name of the company is Evaction, e uh, stock symbol EVAX. That's EVAX, saving and improving lives with AI immunology. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. More big biz coming up.